Making sense of Chad Gad Yah beyond its explicit meaning has long inspired commentary. But for me, Chad Gad Yah expresses in its own terrifying and macabre way a particularly important idea in Judaism that has become obscure, if not esoteric. Namely, while an animal's life may be commodified and purchased, even for two zuzim, ultimately these forces of exploitation, predation, and destruction that dominate our world will be overturned. A new age, an olam haba, will dawn in which nature will be sustained with compassion and fairness, and without creatures required to eat one another to survive. And this is the vision of Isaiah in chapter 11, verses 6 through 9. Singing Chad Gadya is thus particularly apropos for the night of Passover, since in the Jewish calendar, this one night, different from all other nights, is considered the most dangerous night of the year. It is the time in which the forces of darkness in the world are strongest. Others would say unleashed. Why? It's because it's on this night that the divine aspect of the mashrit, the executioner, the destroyer, is was explicitly invoked. Not as a being separate from Hashem, but as the divine itself. And this is explained in the Midrash for Exodus chapter 12, verse 12, read in the Magid section, the climax of the Magid section of our Haggadah. I will pass through the land of Mitzrayim. I am not an angel, and I will smite every firstborn. I am not a seraph, and I will execute judgment against all the gods of Mitzrayim. I am not a messenger. I am Adonai. I and no other. In Jewish belief, this radical statement, there is one and only one divinity responsible for light and dark, suffering and joy. The invocation of the most dangerous and harmful aspect is limited to the one day dedicated to telling of the birth of our people and in which the divine acts as our bloody midwife and as the guardian and protector of her people. This aspect, however, is very dangerous, and so is related to all the other dangerous and destructive powers of the world the divine has created, including the predatory inclination, the Yetzer Hara, as described in Yoma 69b in the Talmud, a crucial mechanism by which the nature of this world, Olam Hazet, is sustained. The significance of our founding as a people is to study the Torah so as to circumscribe our predatory inclination with kindness and consideration, with the boundaries set by our ethics and laws, so as to realize what Isaiah articulated in his vision, that they will neither harm nor, nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of Hashem as the waters cover the sea. Our world may be a bloody and deadly nightmare sustained through violent predation and unforeseen catastrophes, but we hope for a new age in which the divinity suffusing all of creation is apparent to all, even the fools among us, and that even nature itself may finally be sustained in peace with kindness and consideration. Kenny here at Song.